actually start freaking record. Okay, there we go. Ten second delay, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about since it's December fifth, um, and very shitty day today. Um, I'm not going to feed the, the trolls anymore by going into that um, of what happened today, but very shitty. Uh, it's St. Saint, Saint Chris, uh, Crispina's Day. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Let me double check. St. Crispina, yeah. Um, and she's celebrated today. If you're old calendarist, I guess today is November 22nd, and it's the, uh, there's still celebrations related to the entrance of the Theotokos into the temple, which is my day. Um, so I'll show you this icon. This is a Russian style icon, obviously, different from the Antiochian style, which is a variation on the Greek style, or the Syriac style, if you like, um. <clears throat> but that is a very Russian style icon of the entrance of the Theotokos in the temple. Getting back to St. Crispi Crispina. Um, she was tortured mercilessly and beheaded by uh, the pagan Romans under the most evil, one of the most evil people to ever live, Diocletian. And the great, during the Great Persecution, which was under Diocletian. Um, and in my video, if you're wondering the dating that I got for the Apocalypse of John, it's because Nero, 666 wouldn't have meant anything before Nero's reign and after his reign. There is no need to hide his name because everybody openly hated Nero. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the guy that we don't like, Augustine, or at least Eastern Orthodox, many Eastern Orthodox, um, well, Eastern Orthodox in general, do not trust Augustine. Um, <clears throat> some think he's a Manichaean agent, think he was a Manichaean agent. Some straight out call him a heretic. John Chrysostom called him blessed. So um, I'll stick with the area of he was. He was a Christian. I'll, I'll give him that. Um, but he introduced a lot of ideas and, and errors that would bloom, bloom in the West that would cause a lot of trouble between the East and the West. But anyways, Augustine, um, St. Augustine of Hippo, actually recommended that St. Crispina be re revered alongside St. Agnes and St. Thecla. Now, everyone knows St. Agnes and St. Thecla. Maybe the Westerners don't know about Thecla or Tecla, um, but St. Thecla is huge in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Also in the um, Oriental Orthodox Communion as well. But huge, and especially huge in the Antiochian Orthodox. Even, uh, even those in um, communion with the Pope that are part of the Roman Catholic Church, like the Malkite and the Maronite, huge with St. Thecla. And St. Agnes, um, you couldn't get a bigger saint in, than her in Western um, Christendom. You know, she was martyred as well, I believe, um, under the Romans. I don't think during the Great Persecution. She was she was young when she died. Um, Crispina had three children, um, didn't shed a tear, uh, had her head shaved, and, you know, um, gave thanks to God and then was executed by beheading. Um, so, as bad as my day can get, at least I'm not having my head shaved, saying goodbye to three of my children as they're crying and being led away and being beheaded by 
the orders of one of the most evil men to walk the earth, Diocletian. Um, <clears throat> and I think it's great that uh, Constantine kicked the ass of every single general in his way, and even the backstab or um, Lucinus or Licentius or I, however you pronounce it, I've only seen it written. Um, kicked all the asses, and then the Edict of Toleration. Didn't persecute the pagans, but said, no, you have to tolerate the Christians. You can't keep murdering the Christians. You have to allow them to build their churches. Um, and given the freedom of choice, paganism saw a sharp decline within the empire and Christianity boomed. Christianity was already booming outside the empire anyways. Ireland, among the Germanic tribes like the Alemanni, um, just outside of Thrace, uh, and Ethiopia and um, Armenia were already Christian nations. Um, by the time Rome officially became Christian, um, 60 years after Constantine's death under Theodosius. Um, but St. Crispina, I mean, that's a big thing to say for Augustine of Hippo to say um, she should be held in just as high regard as Agnes and Thecla, St. Agnes and St. Thecla. St. Thecla, as you know, um, a companion of Paul, travel around with Paul. Um, these stories are non-canonical, obviously. Um the acts of Paul are, the acts of Paul and Thecla. Um, and so Thecla being huge in the East, right? Um, especially Syria. And Agnes being huge in the West. Um, for him to say that, St. Crispina, uh, he, he was born not too long after her her martyrdom um, because she was martyred right in in um, 305 and uh, so during the end of the great persecution because in 313 um, Constantine would win the battle of Milvan Bridge against Maxentius right and become, you know, emperor of the West and issue the Edict of Toleration. Um, honestly, Constantine actually became one of the co-emperors, one of the one of the four, you know, because there's two Augustuses, two Caesars. I want to say it was 305 that he did that, but so, but maybe I've got uh, Crispina's um, martyrdom date in my head. So December 5th, 3 AD 304, St. Crispina executed, murdered by the evil Diocletian who was running the pagan heathen state that was polytheistic and extremely warlike. I mean, Mars is one of their gods, for heaven's sake. Um, Mars is one of their main gods. Uh, the, um, so I think we should remember her. I don't know if we have any icons of her. Uh, if we don't, um, maybe somebody should make one. Um, so she's remembered because if she made that much of an impact on Augustine of Pippo, I know we don't like him, right? I know we don't trust him in matters of certain things, but for him to say that, it's, that's gigantic, isn't it? So, um, you know, St. Crispina, please pray for all of us. All right, peace to you. Because she was even given the option to accept all of our gods, and she said, no, burn incense to our gods, and she said, no, there's only one god. So in that sense, the Muslims couldn't even, <laughs> couldn't even venerate her. All right. Peace to you.